Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration and inspiration and my name is gary and i'm thankful that you're joining me here this morning as we're coming to you live as we do each and every morning from the foothills of the great smoky mountains here in east tennessee today is monday february 27th 2023 and it is national strawberry day i love strawberries putting like them in just regular just eating them right out of the carton i like them in strawberry shortcake chocolate covered strawberries any kind of strawberries. Get yourself some strawberries today and enjoy National Strawberry Day. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Acts, chapter number 4. And we're going to look at verses 29 through 31. Scripture says, And now, Lord, behold their threatenings, and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word by stretching forth thine hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child, Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together. And there were all, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they spake the word of God with boldness. Friends, those are some powerful words here in this, in this section of the book of Acts. And I think with with what's going on in the world today and and with the outpouring that God has been doing in, in college campuses across America and across the world as we're reading, I think this is a prayer that we all need to pray for ourselves, but a prayer that we need to pray maybe even daily. And I encourage you to look at the rest of chapter number four so you get the gist and the idea of what is going on that prompted this prayer. And I'm going to touch on a few things here uh, concerning this prayer. Why would they need this prayer? And verse 29 gives us three reasons why they are praying in this way. They say here, the first one is behold their threatenings. They're saying, and now Lord, behold their threatenings. They're referring to the threatenings that Peter and John had got from the the religious leaders of their time. And in verse 18, we read, And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus. And then jumping down to verse 21, says, So when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing, how they might punish them because of the people. For all men glorified God for that which was done. So the religious leaders got upset with with Peter and John because they did something that that they didn't think was right, that they didn't think they should be doing, and they threatened Peter and John. And for many people, just threatenings enough would be enough to keep them from from going out and and doing what God's called them to do. But not the the relig- not not Peter and John, and not the disciples that was that was with them. Because they prayed, Lord, they're saying, Lord, see their threatenings. See the threatenings they've done to us. Then he says, and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness. Boldness is the next thing that they are praying for. Why they needed to pray this prayer. They're praying for boldness. They were threatened and they needed God's power to witness, to speak. They needed God's power to do what they were called to do. They were threatened and they they needed God's power. Verse 19 says, But Peter and John answered and said unto them, saying to the religious leaders, Whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God, judge ye. In other words, what they're saying is, is, is ask God if it's right that we obey you more than we obey God. That was pretty bold right there for them to say that to those religious leaders. But they were praying and seeking for boldness because they were called to speak in the name of Jesus. They were called to speak and do things that God has called them to do. And therefore, they are going to follow God's direction. They're going to need boldness to stand up to these threatenings. Boldness to go and do the will that God had called them to do. And finally, they needed this prayer 
because of the threatenings, because they needed boldness, and they needed the boldness to speak the word of God. Verse number 20 says, and this is Peter and John talking to the religious leaders, for we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. They, they, they need to speak the word of God and they can't speak anything to what they've seen and heard and what the Holy Ghost has given unto them. What was the result of this prayer? Look here at verse number 30 of Acts chapter 4. The results of this prayer, the prayer for God to, to behold the threatenings, the prayer for boldness, the prayer to speak the word, is that by stretching forth thine hand to heal, that was going to be a result of their boldness, a result of speaking the word of God. It was going to be that they would heal, that they would heal. And then the rest of the verse says, And that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child, Jesus. So as a result of the boldness to speak the word of God, they would be able to stretch forth thine hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done in the name of Jesus. And if we look at chapter number 5 and verse number 12, Scripture says, And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought or done among the people, and they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. So we can see this prayer being answered in that by the hands of the apostles many signs and wonders were done. Friends, we live in an age where there's not a lot of healing today. There's not a lot of signs and wonders being done today. And undoubtedly, you've been reading like I have been and seeing uh, short videos on Facebook of the outpouring of the Spirit or the revival, if you will. It's happening or has happened. I think it's. I think it. I think the. I think the college ended it. The revival going on in Asbury College up in Wilmore, Kentucky. And I've seen people saying how great it is, and I've seen people saying what a mockery it is. And the last broadcast we did um, here on the Daily Dose of Inspiration, I addressed how we should handle that. And I encourage you to go back and listen to that episode. It's the previous one because I've been sick, so we hadn't been doing the broadcast regularly. But we live in an age where if people are being healed, if signs and wonders are being done, you're going to have some people praising it and saying that God is moving, and you're going to have other people that is saying this isn't an act of God, it's an act of the devil, whatever, just like it was in Jesus' time. But what we got to do is when we see things being done like this, we got to test out the spirits. That's a whole other thing. I'm not going to get into it. I'll listen to, to the last broadcast, and that's where you can talk about that. But if we're going to pray and ask God for boldness to speak the word, we need to ask God to pour out his spirit through us so that proof of that boldness, proof of the word of God is done. And that's what these things were here in verse number 30 when they were healing and signs and wonders. That's proof of the work of God. How can we know that God heard their prayer? That's what we see in verse number 31. Three ways we see it here. And when they prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together. The place was shaken. Was it a coincidence that an earthquake happened at the time that they got done praying? Would have been a major coincidence. But I believe that the place that was shaken was shaken because God heard their prayer. And look at the next one. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. They were filled with the Holy Ghost. God filled them with the Spirit of God. And when we have the Spirit of God on us, we'll have the boldness to speak the word. We'll have the boldness to speak the word that results in healing, that results in signs and wonders being done. And then look at this last one. And they spake the word of God with boldness. Friends, if you want to say a prayer, that you know God's going to answer. Ask God for boldness. Ask God for boldness to speak his word so that people can be healed, 
so that signs and wonders are being done so that people will praise God and people will will worship him and then see what happens. Think about that as you go through this day and remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you and then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Hey, Frank, you need me to give you some numbers for your deadline today? Bob, yeah, I'm so glad you're here. Here, let me pull up the report. Okay, make it quick. I've only got about five minutes. Yeah, um, hold on. Let me check that. Oh, that's my boss's number. I'll call him later. Okay, I need the sales figures for the last quarter. Sure, they're... Oh, I'm sorry, that's my pager. Uh, oh, it's my boss again. Is your life busy, full of deadlines? Don't worry, I'll call him later. Go on. Should I come back? Cell phone. Uh... No, it's my boss. No, 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 go ahead. Sales for the last quarter were... You've got mail. Uh, Hold on. Uh, Oh, it's my boss. God told us in the Bible to be still and know that I am God. Putting Him first will put the rest of your day in perspective. Have you taken time today to be still, to be quiet before God? Frank. Oh, Mr. Johnson. Sorry you didn't return your calls. I've just been working on that deadline. I've been trying to tell you. I don't need that report until next week. Oh. Another message from Lifeline Productions, the comic strip of radio at lifelinepro.com. 